Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. So we are here in the Sylph's Cave. Let's keep going. Basement floor two. Um. Oh crap! I forgot levitate. You have to use it every single floor, which is kind of annoying. All right, let's cure up a little bit. Yeah, Cecil, you can use some healing, and so could you, Kane. There we go. And let's go upstairs. What do we have here? Uh, let's levitate again. Levitate. There we go. And we need a little bit of healing after that one. Uh, the enemies here are pretty tough. So it might be a good idea to try to, I don't know, take this place in two parts, kinda. Get all the treasure first and then go from there. 1,000 gil and a cottage. And let's keep going. Huh. Haven't been down here yet, I guess. But wait. Go check out the other part of this floor first. Uh, levitate. And what is this? Oh, it's a save point. Alright, fair enough. And I think this is how you get the first treasure chest. Elfinbo! If I want Rosa to attack, I can equip her with that. Uh, I think I am going to use a tent right now. I have plenty of them to waste. Let's go! Let's go downstairs. See what we got. Basement floor two. Oh no, I forgot. Crap. And let's levitate. Everybody. Everybody float in the air like you just don't care. Uh which way first? Let's try going. Oh boy, that was bad. Got surprised by some Marlboros. There we go. That's better. Let's try going over here. Through a secret passage. Uh, can I get out, please? Oh, I guess not. Let's go around like that. Monsters! And we have toady witches and witchy toads. Something like that. Toady toads. Bend and have Ridia stand by. Toad! I'll just keep ta casting Toad on you over and over and over again. Alright, so Rose is okay. Let's uh, untoad Cecil here. And let's go after the Toady Witch. That's better. Once the Toady Witch goes, then the other Toads will just sit there and do nothing. Do it to edge again! Yay! And then miss. Yay! I can call it. Great. Come on, Kane. Let's go. Come on, Cecil. Attack before stupid Toady Witch tells him to croak. There we go. Now we can just pick off the frogs one by one without having to worry. Easy enough. And 
spend. There we go. It's one of the easier battles in here. It's actually the only one where you're probably not going to take any damage at all. And we got a Mage Masher. Nice. Let's give that to Rydia. She can equip it. Let's see, what does that do for her status? I think that increases her wisdom again, so not bad. I don't know what happens if you use that as an item in battle. Check it out. And see what's down here. Basement floor 3. Hopefully this is a dead end, and then I can go back. Let's levitate. Let's see, let's not forget this time. Oh, those stupid Marlboros! Stupid, stupid Marlboros. Stupid, stupid Marlboros. Stupid, stupid Marlboros. Stupid, stupid Marlboros. Stupid, stupid. And let's just keep going here. Ah, oh, this is the way to the end. So I'm gonna go back and... I just ran away from some of those toady thingies because I was back attacked and it just wasn't worth it to stay there. So I'm just gonna toad everyone and then toad Rydia. Er, I mean Rosa. There we go, that's the easier way to do it. So I'm gonna head back to that other fork in the road. Ah, oh, more of those stupid frog thingies. Blah. Stupid frogs. Let's go to the floor before this one. Uh, I just keep getting back attacked like crazy in here. It's insane. We're all taking a real beating here. Alright, there we go. Stupid battles, I swear! Like every two seconds, I get thrust into a situation I don't want to be in. And I'm mostly just running away from them. I mean, they're more trouble than they're worth. At least in terms of skill and experience. Yeah. Let's levitate again. I wish levitate meant that your feet were a little bit swifter. So that you wouldn't get into so many battles. High potion, ether, lightning arrows, ice arrows, flame arrows. Great. Really worth it to come back here. So I can just get rid of these. Ice arrows and lightning arrows. Get lost! There we go. Now let's go back. Yep, no uh, passages here. Now let's go to the end of this place. And then we'll leave and get the rest of the treasures. Magic. Let's levitate again. There we go. Aha, I got away from those Marlboros that time. What do we have over here? And we have a pot. Nothing in it. Great. We have a little house. Treasures! Cat Claw! Claw of Hell! Ah, humans! What are you doing here? Get out, now! Why do we have claws here? It's Yang! We won't give you Yang! We found him collapsed outside of our hole, but he hasn't awakened. Hmm. So I guess Yang isn't dead after all. Interesting. Nothing else here? Well, we found Yang, and I'm going to use a tent right now. Uh, music.
music. What happened there? Some kind of glitch? I don't know. We okay? Ah, one more tent. Still use the more still use more MP recovering. That would be nice. Alright, let's go. Let's go back in here. <laughs> uh let's levitate now. Alright, Rose is at full MP, that's good. Cave of the Sylphs. Oh no. It's going the wrong way there. Need to go down here. Yeah. I leveled up a lot and still nothing. Still I'm getting my ass handed to me. But I think you're supposed to be coming here a lot later. Oh well, we can do it now. And let's keep moving on. Basement floor three. Ah, oh, we're on the other side of that building there. And let's levitate again. Because it's fun! Oh, I could have taken a shortcut through here. And I could have... Aha! We'll go... Oh, let's go this way now. Why not? See what's up here. Basement floor two. Ah, uh, no, I should see what's over here first. Too indecisive in here, and it's costing me. It's costing me eight MP. And time and effort and blah 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 blah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else over here except for these treasures. So it's a good idea I came back. Maiden's kiss and Fairy Rod! Let's see... Let's see, what does a Fairy Rod do? Hit to confuse enemy. Hmm, that's not bad. I think I'd still prefer the Mage Masher on Rydia. Uh, let's keep going then. Go back up those stairs. The place is easy to find the secret passages because the walls have little indents on them, so you can see where you're going. Or where you need to go, should I say. Alright, let's go. No more battles, no more battles, no more battles. I think some of these chests have monsters in them. Bomb Spirit, 3,000 gil. Remedy, 2,000 gil. And I don't want the Bomb Spirit. And I don't want the Monster Picture Book, either. Sacrifices HP, yeah. No. Bad. And we have a bunch of treasures here. Emergency exit, monster... Oh, come on, I just threw that away! <laughs> maiden's kiss, maiden's kiss. It's a good thing you get those maiden's kisses because you get turned into a frog a lot here. Monster picture book, I don't need. And emergency exit, I do not need either. Oh boy. Let's drop down here! And Rosa, why don't you levitate everyone? And let's go up here. And we have two ways to go. Two ways to go here. And there's absolutely nothing in the right path. So let's go over here. Is that all? Ah, more treasures over here. Let's see, let's levitate again. There we go. What do we have? Monsters! Okay, that was just a few of those spirit things, so... We got a red fang, hooray. Now, what do we have in here? Monsters! All right, and from that battle, we get the Full Moon Boomerang for Edge. And that was two Marlboros and two of those 
tree thingies. I forget their names. So I'm going to equip the Full Moon Boomerang on Edge right now, instead of his regular boomerang. Full Moon! There we go. Much better! So that's it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Next time we will open the rest of the treasure chest there. So, see you next time.